Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank God for another time. Sorry, a bit running a bit behind. We thank God for another day, another session. Oh, yes. Another time of refreshing before the Almighty God. Holy Ghost, you are in charge. Have your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Teach us yourself. Remind us of those things that we need to remember. Amen. And speak to us to bless your people. And to bless us too. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We've been doing purpose. We've been talking about purpose and then we decided to talk about challenges that people meet in fulfilling purpose. And we have spoken about Joseph. Oh yeah. Today we want to speak about David. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's it. So, you know, it, it should be a very great time in God's presence. Amen. So, thanks for joining us, Reverend Mrs. Grace of Allah. Thanks for joining us. God bless you, man. Amen. Yeah, so let's talk with a difference. Mm. Holy Ghost is the sharp person of this program. Oh, yes. And we know that anywhere the Holy Spirit is, all manners mm. of things happen. Oh, yes. Lives are transformed, lives are changed, destinies are confirmed. Mm. People experience uncommon lifting. Mm. Because that's what the Holy Spirit does. Oh, yes. When you come in contact with Him, or we are His, mm. expect the impossible to happen either in your life, mm. in your career, in your mm. home, over your children, over your husband, over what that concerns you. Expect the impossible because the Holy Spirit is present. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's set the ball rolling. So Daniel, we're looking at Daniel and David. the challenges. David. Um, David. Sorry, David, and okay. the challenges that he faced in fulfilling purpose. What was that David's? I'm going. I hope we are, we are not doing that. <laughs> we are doing David. Okay. <laughs> so what were the challenges? Who was he called to be? Mm. He was called to be a king over the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh yes. That was his purpose: to be a leader, to be a deliverer. Of his people so what are the challenges we are just going to pinpoint some of those challenges today but first of all we are going to open our Bibles to 1 Samuel 16 and read from 1 to 13 okay yeah 1 Samuel 16 from verse 1 to 13 I'm reading from the okay can I read from the confessional prayer Bible uh, okay chapter 16 uh, from verse 1 it says the following yeah and the Lord said unto Samuel how long will you mourn for Saul seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel fill your horn with oil and go I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite for I have provided me a king among his sons mm -hmm. Verse 2. And Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take a high fire with you and say, I am come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesus to the sacrifice. And I will show you what you shall do. And you shall anoint unto me whom I name unto you. Awesome. And Samuel did that which the Lord spoke and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Come you peaceably? Verse 5. And he said, Peaceably. I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. Verse 6. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. For man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Then Jesus called Abinadab, and made him pass before Samuel. 
And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Verse 9. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Again, Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord has not chosen this. Verse 11. And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all your children. And he said, There remains yet the youngest. And behold, he keeps the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and bring him. For we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and of a beautiful countenance and handsome. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Verse 14. The Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Okay, and the spirit from the Lord troubled him. Okay, okay, 13, yeah, verse 13. Yeah. Yes. So, what can we see from here? One of the major things that we can see from here is that when Samuel came to anoint the king that God had called him to hmm. come and anoint, Jesse, his own father, <laughs> had no expectation that David could be the person that god wanted to anoint he hmm. had no expectation whatsoever oh yes that's why he only put all the other sons before him <laughs> before samuel oh yeah and he didn't put so it's possible to have a challenge whereby your family has no expectation that god is taking you to a particular place mm. Mm. a particular place of leadership mm. of being a king over a particular thing in life so mm. there was no expectation. That's why they didn't even bring David at all before mm. Samuel. Mm. Mm. So that was a challenge. Oh, yes. One can say that's a challenge because even today it's still happening. Mm. Many people, they'll say, ah, you are the youngest in the family or you are the middle child or you are this, you are that. Mm. That there is no expectation for anything good to come mm. out of you. Mm. Mm. So that was a challenge mm. that David had. Even his brothers too. Mm. They, didn't, they didn't reckon with it that he too he should come. That is important <laughs> for him to come. <laughs> oh, yes. Why would we say that? Because when Jesse didn't say that they should go and bring David, even the brothers didn't protest. They should have said that. They Daddy. quiet. <laughs> Daddy. Uh, uh, we still have one of us We now. still have a brother <laughs> that's in the field. Okay. Let's call him. None of them. Felt mm. that anything they just went to stand before Samuel. Yes, mm. Mm. don't I look kingly enough? Mm. I'm sure they must know that something was happening, something very important mm. for Samuel to come come there. Oh yes, oh yes. And mm. they stood in all their stature, stature and everything mm. Mm. before him. For mm. God had not chosen any one of them. Wow. So that's a challenge there that your family. If God has ordained you for a particular purpose, it's possible that they will not believe mm. the purpose that God has raised you for. Yeah. So or is raising you for. Now, in case you are watching or you'll be watching later, maybe you know your father has looked down upon you mm. at a given point in time. You are growing up and you have been humiliated by your father mm. or by or by your siblings. You are not alone. David went through the same experience. Mm. Mm. And that didn't stop him from getting mm. to his goal. Mm. So don't let your childhood upbringing mm. or your parental disposition towards you, you know, what they have mm. said concerning mm. you, or, that, your siblings. or your siblings, that, you know, who is he, who is she? Mm. Can anything good come out of, it. Out of you? <laughs> mm. Don't let them stop you. Imagine, Jesse forgot a woman being. A whole human being. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot a whole human being. You say, well, you know, uh, maybe that was an uh, an omission. No, 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 no. This guy possibly there was no expectation. Yeah, uh, you know, no expectation. David, That's why David was mean. a boy that should be kept inside the bush and be watching yeah. over over what's it called over mm. a sheep, not not to be anointed king of king of what. Mm. <laughs> Let him be uh, doing his rulership inside the uh, inside the inside the bush. Mm. 
That is where they expected David to be ruling, mm. not in the palace. Mm. To go and be enjoying the 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 glamour of mm. uh, royalty. No, no, no. That was not mm. David. But thank God, God disappointed. Mm. You know their 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 imaginations. What they thought. Mm. So you are there. You are watching, and you have been looked upon by your mm. siblings. Get up, arise, mm. because God will surprise mm. those who have looked down upon you yes. by making your life a testimony. Mm. Hallelujah. And what God has proposed for you to fulfill, you will fulfill it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So they had no regard. They, even if they had no regard or they had no expectation, one would think that later on, <laughs> ah. once Samuel has anointed him, that they will now have some regard for him. Mm -hmm. But it was after that that he went to the battlefield mm -hmm. and the brother was now insulting him that what are you doing here? We know the naughtiness yeah, of your we heart. We know the naughtiness of your heart. <laughs> that what are you doing here? So even after being anointed in their presence, in the midst of his brethren, <laughs> they he still had the challenge. They didn't bother to say, okay, if he's uh, anointed, then that means that we need to respect him from now. Mm, you know, but there was nothing like that. They still treated him as a child. Some can say, you know, if they see the testimonies in my hand, they will respect me. Some people, even though they see God using you or God prospering uh -huh. you, they will still be referring to her. We know, we know him. We know her. Who is she? Who is he? A child. Expect that to happen. Mm. David, although he was anointed before his brethren, mm. at the battlefront, they said, we know the naughtiness of your heart. Why are you yes. here? Mm. Why are you here? To so, come and see the battle. <laughs> Why are you here? To see the battle. Uh, so, you think this is a play area? <laughs> a playground. <Yeah. laughs> wow. What an experience. What, mm. a, you know, what a lesson to learn from the mm. life of David. Mm. So that was a challenge mm. or challenges that he had. His family didn't even believe in him. Mm. And even after being anointed, they still didn't really get it. So that's a challenge that he had. But did that make him less than who he was? No, no, no. he no. didn't. That didn't stop him. That didn't stop him. He knew who he was. Wow. He knew who he was. He mm. knew the real person. He knew that he was somebody that has killed a lion and a bear. Mm. Something that nobody else has ever done before. Mm. And wow. that was in the secret. Yeah. It wasn't something that was exposed to everybody. Oh, yes. He knew what he had done in secret, mm. in killing the lion and the bear. Hallelujah. So he knew to an extent who he was. Okay. We wanted to also bring something out concerning Samuel here. Yeah. Maybe we'd like to talk on that. Okay. First Samuel 16. You know, as um, Samuel was going through those presented to him by Jesse, the, the supposed father. So he saw, <laughs> he saw Eliab mm. and he said, surely this is God's anointed. Mm. <laughs> God said no. God said no. He That's <laughs> you know this earlier possibly he had he had a um, muscular muscular uh, biceps and triceps six packs yeah. tall and some good looking mm. and God said I don't look the way you look you, you I mean you men you look at the outward appearance mm. but I look at the heart mm. here Samuel the caliber of prophet that Samuel was. Mm. Was that there was a time when Samuel just did the sacrifice, mm. and a whole nation that was troubling Israel, mm. they stopped troubling them. Mm. It just it just made a sacrifice, and Philistines that were that were fighting against a whole nation. The Bible says they 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 returned no more unto Israel as mm. long as Samuel was living. Mm. So it was a caliber of a prophet that was mm. unique in his mm. in his days. Mm. Yet he missed it. Yeah, he missed it here. He looked the way a man will look. Because they say man. Yeah. So every prophet that God has brought into your life, they are, they, are, they are men. They are men. Everyone that God is using for you, they are men. And they are not God. They can miss it sometimes if they allow the flesh. That is why we shouldn't place them. We shouldn't place any prophet, any leader, any pastor in the place of God. Because these leaders, they are firstly men, men before we now put 
men of God. Of that, God. You know, you put God there. They were, you know, they are firstly men. So every prophet is firstly a man before you now put the word God behind, mm. you know, their name. So we should give them the chance to make mistakes sometimes. That is why the Bible says we should prove all things. Even if somebody says, thus says the Lord, mm. you have the right to check it yourself mm. and, and be sure that, look, this thing is from God, indeed not from the flesh of the servant of God yes. that's, that's being used. Samuel missed it. Second time, ah, he said, behold, God said, no, he said, no, it's not the person. Third time, and lastly, now said, ah, do you have any other person around here? Ah, he said, there's one man there, you know, one young man, just there inside the bush. So what I'm saying is that a prophet can miss it. But thank God for uh, for Samuel. Yeah, so he still Say something. went on. Yeah, although Samuel missed it, he yes. retraced his step. Mm. He was humble enough to accept that. Look, I I made a mistake in pointing out to Eliab the first time. Mm. Okay, oh Lord, what next? And God, you know, God corrected him. Yes, on all the others. Yeah, and saying and told him that. And told him so that I could say that the Lord has not chosen this. Any yeah. of these sons had come before. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because first of all, is a man, a prophet can either be in the flesh or in the spirit. Okay, yeah, can that's either true. be a man or be a prophet. Hmm. Hmm. So he can either look or at preach. things or and judge hmm. from the outward appearance or judge from the spirit. Oh yes, oh yes. So that shows us there that. He had two natures. Okay. okay. Every man has two natures. Mm -hmm. You either judge outwardly by your outward senses, mm. your physical senses. What you hear, uh -huh. what, what you, you see, see, what you taste, what you, what taste, you touch, what you feel. Mm. Or you either judge from the spiritual standpoint. Mm. What you can hear spiritually, what you can see spiritually. Mm. What you taste spiritually, what you smell spiritually. Oh, yes. All those things are the things that we are supposed to look at when we want to judge even a matter. Even Jesus Christ said that I don't judge mm. that the Pharisees that they judge after the flesh. After the flesh, but I judge no man. Meaning mm. that he does not judge after the way man judges. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. judges after the spirit. He judges by the heart of people. Mm. Mm. The inward, not the outward. Oh, yes. That his judgment is right. Mm, he mm. has right judgment. He mm. said that he has right judgment. He judges rightly mm. from what he hears mm. spiritually, not what he hears physically. Mm. And as a believer, if you have gotten to a point where a place where by God is using you to speak to people's lives, mm. I think we should be humble enough to say, ah, no, you know, I miss it there. You know, maybe mm. what I got, I thought I was mm. getting this made, but I, I miss it there. You should be humble enough to say, okay, God. I missed it. You know, what is the next action? Yes. Samuel was humble enough to say, well, Lord, I missed it. Mm. And he got the collection. Mm. And eventually, he got it right. Yes. So, as in our own time too, God allows us, you know, uh, hearing from God is a learning process too. Yes. yes. We, have said it, we have said it over this broadcast over and over again. Yes. Hearing from God and saying, this is the Lord, is a learning pro process. Someone mm. says, it's like learning how to ride the bike, hearing mm. from God. Mm. Sometimes, you know, you hear and you thought you have heard from the Lord. Meanwhile, meanwhile, it's your flesh. But however, as you keep on hearing and declaring what God is saying, you will start getting to a point where I can know you can get very accurate. You can very you can be very, very precise. Samuel got there. Mm. Initially he missed it. Eventually he was precise. Mm. So you can be at a point whereby you felt you have heard from God and, and you know you didn't turn out the way you expected. Mm. Although sometimes, mm. as you say sometimes in one of our broadcasts, that's what you are expecting may, it may come in a different package. Yes. You are expecting something, but it's coming in a different package. Yes, and God does that. Uh -huh. You can imagine the, <laughs> the Israelites or the Jews. Yeah. They were expecting Jesus in a particular form. Oh, yes. But he came as a carpenter's son. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they missed the time of visitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they weren't expecting him to come in the form that he came in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, born mm -hmm. in a manger and all that. There's nothing kingly about being born in a, in a manger. Mm, mm, and mm. being the son of a carpenter. Mm, mm. I think the guideline is that at, at every point in time, anything you are doing, make sure that it is to, it, it is to, it is to God's to glory. glory of God. 
that your heart is that you want to be you know to be used by God to bless somebody. Mm. You want to be, to be used by God to give somebody direction. Mm. Let, let your heart be. I want to be a blessing to somebody. Mm. And in case you miss it, God will reroute you. He will tell you, okay, mm. you are missing there. This is the right thing. Mm. And because you have the right heart, you don't have any hidden agenda. You don't want mm. to. You are not seeking for fame or for money, mm. position. It's just that you want to be a blessing to somebody. Mm. You want somebody to be blessed. You want to you want to bring God to mm. earth, to the earth, mm. by telling people, "Don't says the Lord," and it's mm. accurate and precise. You want to show people that look, mm. God is God is real. That's your heart. There is no mm. there is no hidden agenda. If that's your heart, mm. uh, don't be afraid of stepping out mm. to declare or, what God is saying. Or making mistakes. Or don't be afraid of making mistakes, because in fact, mistake is a learning process. Mistake yes. is a learning curve. Somebody says, yes. somebody said that uh, uh, a failure learned from is success in disguise. Mm. When you learn from your mistake, you are making mm. progress, you're making success. Yes. Even those who are getting it accurately today, mm. especially in the prophetic, mm. uh, they began from somewhere. Mm. They had a time when they were learning. Mm. Learning, mm. you know, they got it right, they made mistakes. They learned, they learned from it. They got it right. They made mistakes. They learned from it. Mm. And today, they are reputable prophets. They are reputable believers who will give you a word. Mm. Say, wow, how do you know that? That's, that's very precise. Mm. That, is, that, is, that is awesome. Mm. Who told you that? Mm. It's because they have gone through their learning, yes. learning process. And they made mistakes. Oh, but yeah. that didn't stop them from still... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Moving and on. some are still making mistakes, even despite yes, their yes, height. Yes, yes. <laughs> despite even despite our height, sometimes we see we see make mistakes. Mm. By God's grace, God has called us to be prophets of the nation. We are prophets by God's grace. We are prophets. Mm. But you know, when you make mistake, you still you know you go back to dream yes. and say, God, ah, you know, I, I missed it there. Uh, What's the next I, thing? I thought I had you. And in some cases, what you see, we need to still ask God further. Okay. Now, what does this mean? Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes we can give it the wrong interpretation. Mm, because you have seen something. So that it, it must always mean this. Or it meant this last, last time. time. <laughs> so it must still mean the same thing. <laughs> what the I same, heard from God last time uh -huh. meant this. So, so it, it must, must mean this now. It mean the same thing this mm -hmm. time. Meanwhile, it's not, <laughs> mm. it's not so. So mm. that's why we always need God. Yes. God, what does, what does this mean? So, which means interpretations can be progressive. Yes. You know, what you said mm -hmm. meant something mm -hmm. like this um, last, last uh, month, last, last time year. We are... said that it was a boy that is coming, that a boy is coming. <laughs> and mm. then it turns out to, to be, be a girl. A girl. Mm. Because we, maybe we had become comfortable that, oh, yes, last time it was a boy that came for <laughs> that so came. Mm. it must be a boy again. Mm. 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 But the bottom line is that a child came. A child came. <laughs> barrenness <laughs> came to an end. Uh -huh. mm. So fruitfulness took over barrenness. You are yes. watching this program, and somebody, somebody around you is barren. You are saying, "God, mm. give this person fruitfulness. Give yes. this person a baby." Yes. I see that person carrying the his, uh, you know, his baby or uh, her baby within the next nine to twelve months. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is June the second. Amen. Twenty eighteen. By the by, by the power of the Holy Spirit, between now and the next 12 months, mm -hmm. that person will carry his or her baby in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For with God, all things are possible. Oh, yes. And the Holy Ghost is behind this broadcast, and we are speaking as his mouth. Yes. So we are declaring that barrenness comes to an end yes. in that person's life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will rejoice. Amen. They will laugh with you. Amen. The days of reproach are over Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. It has happened over and over again. Oh, yes. And it will still happen again today. Amen. So please hold on to that word. God is doing a new thing in your life. In Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Then another challenge in fulfilling David's purpose was the challenge of Goliath himself when he was in front, when he went to the battlefield. Mm. The challenge. That is Goliath himself. The problem himself was the one boasting and talking and shouting and talking hmm. out. So he had the challenge of the Goliath, that problem speaking out, speaking hmm. out. So to Goliath, you know, Goliath was a type of problem yes. that can stand before a person. Yes. In reaching your God's giving goal, yes. your purpose. Your purpose. It, it's a type. Yes. 
Mm. So he was speaking. Let's look at that. That's First Samuel. Seventeen. Yeah. Verses forty-three, 43 to 47. forty-nine. Oh, 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 yeah. Forty-seven. Yeah, forty-seven. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You want to read all? Or, or I should read. Oh, no, I you know, you know. I read, I read the last time, so <laughs> you can read. <laughs> okay. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I'll give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, mm. the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Mm. And all this assemb assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, mm. for the battle is the Lord's, and He will give you into our hands. Thank you, Lord. The battle is the Lord's. So the problem, mm. Goliath himself mm. now spoke forth, mm. that who are you that will give you to the birds of the air? And what did he do? What did David do? Was he quiet? Hmm. He wasn't quiet. He also spoke to him. He responded. He oh, spoke yes. back to him. Oh, yes. So that means that we too, when we face problems, in order to fulfill purpose, they are speaking loud, hmm. challenging us. Hmm. We need to speak, respond hmm. back. Because those things, they are speaking in order to intimidate us, to create fear. Hmm. We are supposed to speak forth. Not to keep quiet, but to speak forth. Mm. So if we are having challenges in our health, we are having challenges in marriage, in money, in whatever it is, mm. we are supposed to speak forth mm. because everything has a voice mm. and everything can hear. Mm. Mm. Everything has a voice and everything can hear. That's true. Why do we say that? Let's look at man, um, Mark 11. Hmm. The mm. mountain heard. Mm. The mountain that also represents challenges. Yeah. Mm. The mountain. Mm. Mark eleven. Mm. The mountain had an agenda. Yes. To stop people from moving forward. Yes. So problems have an agenda mm. to stop people from moving forward, from oh, yes. fulfilling purpose, <laughs> from being the deliverer that they are called to be. Wow. Mark yes, 17. Okay. Yeah, what, what was this? What, what was it? 23 and 24. Okay. Mm. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you will receive them. And you shall have them. Yes. Mountains standing as a type mm. of problems. So they heard. So the mountain could hear. That's why he was telling them that they should speak to the mountain. Hmm. And in, the, in that place, you know, you didn't say that you know they should beg the beg God to help them with it. <laughs> God help oh. me. God help me. Oh, this oh. mountain is very, is very, very tall. Uh, this mountain is too big. Given a description. Uh, this mountain is too big because I can't handle this mountain alone. Mm -hmm. God help me out. No, the Bible says, speak unto the mountain. Yes. Talk to that mountain. Speak to it. Because mountain can hear. Yes. You want to, you know, God is saying, do something for him. You have a, you have a project that you know this is of God. You have, you know, you have a health issue that is always coming against you mm -hmm. in, from fulfilling purpose. You want to travel. Health is giving you concern. You know, you are just like a prayer point for every man of God in town mm. over your health. Mm. Then see the health problem as a mountain and start speaking to that and say, Look, mm. you health, I speak to you mm. by the authority of heaven. Mm. Depart in the name of Jesus. You are a mountain, you can't stop me. Mm. Or maybe it's your marriage, your relationship that is just standing against your fulfilling purpose. Mm. Speak 
every turbulence against my marriage, peace be still. Mm. You speak to those mountains. Mm. They can hear. They yes. can hear you. Yes. They can hear you. And don't this, uh, keep on describing, describing them. it. That is reinforcing, them. reinforcing yeah. the mountain. You know, the, the more you describe them, the more they are reinforced. And the more powerful they become. Yeah, yeah. S speak to financial hardship. Over your life, it won't stand. You have a vision, but maybe, maybe you know, a multi million pounds vision, and you are suddenly at the minute and you have tried everything you can do to have a, you know, to have a breakthrough. You, you have done all that you, you could, and yet you are not breaking through. Don't resign to fate, keep on commanding because mountain has a weak point. <laughs> you know, the weak point, <laughs> weak point of mountain when you see a person who won't give up and keep on speaking. Mm -hmm. They will depart into oh, the sea. Yes. Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Oh, the yes. devil, as stubborn as he is, he has a weak point. Mm. When you resist him, mm. you, get, you get to a point where you will say, Look, this one, this one is not going here. I am not following this one. This one is, you see, this guy is, uh, mm. this guy is now a crazy guy mm. because mm. you refuse to accept what he has thrown into your life. Mm. The mountain must not stop, you know, must not stop me. Goliath, Goliath must not stop me. Mm. I am designed for this purpose. Mm. So I'm going to I'm going to fulfill that purpose. Whatever the enemy is doing, you keep on speaking. Do, I mean, Goliath spoke, and David also spoke. Yes. You know, many of us, the way we are brought up is just to be to be quiet, passive, to be passive, uh, and people, you know, they they term that to be humility, Gen gentleness, gentle brother. You know, he doesn't talk. Mm. I remember in the, in the late 70s, in the 80s, mm. you know, when they see somebody who is very loud, I say, look, Satan, no way, here in Jesus' name. They will think, like, ah, you are very proud. You know, you, know you, are, you are too proud. You are bragging too much. Mm. But excuse me, David didn't allow mm. any false humility to stop him. Mm. When Goliath spoke, mm. he didn't keep quiet. He gave He's, it. <laughs> he gave it to him. <laughs> full, full force. Mm. You know, so... We should come out of that. Uh, I shouldn't talk. Oh. Speak mm. out. Mm. I speak against every hindrance in my life to depart in the name of Jesus. Amen. The same things that you know you are hearing this. You know this broadcast. Mm. I speak against every hindrance. I stand against your calling in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every obstacle in the name that has Jesus. stood against you before you have come to watch this broadcast. Amen. I terminate their efforts over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we should be very bold and be outspoken. Mm. After all, even in the occultic world, you see that they are so bold. Mm. They are very outspoken. In the occultic world, mm. they have demons as their father. They have demons, they have the demons and as their father. But we that have God as our, mm. as, our, as our father, we are very, very passive. We just, we, we, are, we allow things to just pass by. No, 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 no. Enough is enough. That thing must not stop you. Mm. Enough he said, no, your children must behave. Mm. Your children can't be wayward. Mm. Your children can't be rebellious anymore. Mm. Your children must respond to what God is saying to them. Mm. So you have to put your foot down, mm. speak back to whatever Goliath that is yes. programmed against your purpose. Yes. Speak your mind, speak out. Yes, because the mountain was saying that I'm not going to move. I'm a hindrance here and I'm here. Hmm. So he had to say that that it has to move. It has to so move. It has to make a path for you. So it has to move. The question Everything is, has a voice. Yeah, the question is, you know, how long should you speak before 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 you before you know before you start speaking? I think until, until you see the mountain depart. Mm. Look 18 verse 1. Christ said, Men ought always to pray mm. and not to faint. Until you see the result, you don't stop. Confess. Some will say, "Well, they just say it was well." It is their is their own belief, mm. but that's they, their faith. Ah, that's their, their faith, and it works. And like it, that. it works like that. You can say it once mm. by God's grace. It works like that. I've, I've, I've seen I even wipe this on phone on the phone. You just speak the word on the phone, and somebody on the other side of the phone gets healed, gets delivered on the spot. Yes, but in case yours is not like that yet, mm. I use the word yet. Mm. Then keep on, keep on saying it until you see the mm. mountain depart. Yes, many Christians. They will just speak maybe two times, and because since they don't see the mountain depart, mm. they will not begin to confess negatively. Uh, this all this prayer thing doesn't really work. We have fasted, mm. we have prayed, we are not seeing results, and they start canceling what they have, what they have established. 
they, they start cancelling mm. it with the amount. Mm. No, don't be like death that. And life. Yeah, Bible says death, yeah, thank you. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So keep on saying it until you see results. Mm. Keep on saying it until you see results. And let me put this one across to you. Many of you, you have been saying it for a long time. This day will mark a day Amen. of a turnaround in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This day, you are not watching this broadcast by accident. Mm. Holy Ghost brought you here. Mm. This day will be a day of turnaround concerning what you are speaking. Mm. Concerning that mountain, this day will be a day of testimony commencing from today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mm. So we are saying that everything has a voice and everything can hear. Mm. That's why Jesus Christ, he had to speak to the fig tree. Let's look at that. Mm. Yeah. Is the it, fig that's, tree. Mm. That's um, Matthew 21. Matthew. Is it 21? Mm. No, Mark 11. Yeah, Mark 11. Yeah, Mark, Mark 11. 11. Yeah, the same. Okay. From verse 13 to 14. Okay. Let's so look at that. Mm. <laughs> That's 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 powerful. Yeah, you can read one of these. Can read. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having mm. leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. Mm -hmm. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. Oh yes. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit <laughs> of thee hereafter forever. Oh, yes. And his disciples heard it. Mm. Who was Jesus Christ addressing here? He was addressing the fig tree. Oh, yes. The Bible says, and Jesus answered, which means that the fig tree had spoken to him. <laughs> That's why he now gave a response. Oh, How yes. did the fig tree speak? He spoke by having leaves and yet having no fruit on it. <laughs> strange, strange tree. A strange tree. Mm. Although it wasn't the time of figs, mm. I believe the figs and the leaves Leaves were supposed to show that there were it's fruits fruit. there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And mm. yet he had nothing like this. So that means that it was a deceptive, deceptive tr tree. Mm. That's why Jesus Christ had to answer him. That I have leaves, mm. but I have no figs. Wow. So Jesus now answered the fig tree and said, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. Yeah. Hmm. And his disciples heard it. So he had to speak to that fig tree. Because the fig tree was telling him something. Just like anything that we see. Like if you see somebody wearing tattered clothes. Hmm. What's the voice hmm. concerning that tattered clothes? Then that means that that person is poor. Hmm. Although in some cases that might not be the case. Yeah, some, some, some can has be to this, uh, in undercover. <laughs> uh -huh. Some people, it might be that they are just using that to deceive people. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. saying that they are poor so that people can give to them. Meanwhile, they have a house, they have their own family and oh, everything, yes. but they pretend to be who they are not. Mm. So everything has a voice. When you see somebody carrying a Gucci bag or something, you'll say that that person must be rich oh, or yes. something oh, like yes. that. Oh, yes. Although in some cases too, maybe it's borrowed <laughs> money. <laughs> Especially if uh, you are living, uh, living in a developed uh, world. Uh -huh. you, know, you, can, you know, you can place anything on your credit card. Once, uh -huh. once you have credit card, uh -huh. once you have credit. Uh -huh. <laughs> but there are some people, mm. when you see Genuinely. them, even their suit alone mm. has a voice that this suit is... Mm, mm. It's very expensive. You can see it. So it has a voice. Mm, mm. Even clothes, they have a voice. Oh, yes. When you see some clothes, you know that ah, these clothes must be quite expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. And you know some that these clothes are mm. not, maybe they are very cheap mm -hmm. by the way they look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's their voice. So here, Jesus had to respond to that fig tree. That had no, that had leaves but no fruit thereon. Mm. He was doing what he was not supposed to do, and so Jesus Christ had to respond to him. They had a conversation, and he told him that, and we know that later on in that same story that the fig tree withered from the very roots. Oh yes, and that was the end of it, mm. of that fig tree. Mm. So we are supposed to speak to anything that comes up 
that wants to challenge Mm. us from fulfilling purpose we mm. are supposed to speak even the dried bones ezekiel mm. had to speak to the dry yes. bones that one's ezekiel 37 1 to 14 oh yes he had to speak to the dried bones the mm. dried bones that were scattered from their parts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. god mm. had to tell him prophesy oh yes so he had to do and those bones they all gathered together mm. 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 are made up individuals mm. Mm. so they could hear <laughs> even skin when, when it was supposed to come up when sinew was supposed to come up oh yes the flesh the yeah. flesh was supposed to come up they all could hear mm. although we'll say that maybe this is a vision but it's still talking about because when you have a vision like that then that means that it's something you can do even in in real time mm. or it's something that can be done mm. even in in real life mm. You know, sweetheart, you know, the interesting thing about that story of Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14 mm. was that when God asked Ezekiel, mm. son of man, mm. can this bone live? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the prophet, was, was, he was very smart. Mm. He said, oh God, you, you, know. you know. Because what he saw, what he was seeing with his mm. eyes, mm. Was too was too pathetic and sorry. Mm. In fact, it was so hopeless. Because if you read down that scripture, mm. it says you know, uh, the, the people of Israel they said, "We are hopeless. We don't mm. have hope." No hope. What he was seeing was hopeless. Mm. No hope at all. So, so you have to say, "Look, God, you know." Mm. God now said, "Okay, prophesy. Say to this. Say to the bones to mm. come together. Say, tell sinews and flesh to cover the you know cover the bones." And when when he did that, something happened. Mm. All the bones came together mm. because he spoke as he was told by God. Yes. What has mm. God told you mm. concerning what you are going through now? Mm. What has God told you concerning what you are facing? Mm. If God has said there is hope and you are seeing hopelessness, you are facing hopelessness, mm. it is your time to decree mm. in accordance to what you have been shown. Yes. God said, I am great and highly favored. God said, by his stripes I was healed. Mm. So if you are seeing hopelessness concerning maybe your health, your ministry, your, your career, mm. decree in line mm. with what you have been shown. Mm. Bible now says, he prophesied the second time. Mm. Bible says, wind came. Life came into hopelessness. Yes. So by saying what God said, said you say, life came into hopelessness. Mm. Every hopelessness under the sound of our voice, we Thank prophesy, Jesus. receive hope in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Everything that has been disconnected, disjoin- mm. disjointed mm. in your journey of life that needs to come together so that you can fulfill purpose. All parts scattered. You know, all parts scattered it's all over. It's not coming together. It's not coming together. From this particular day, I decree that there will be a coming together in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Things will work for you. Mm. So that you can fulfill your ministry. Amen. Things will work for your husband. So that you can fulfill your ministry. Amen. Things will work for your children. For your grandchildren. Amen. So that you can fulfill your purpose. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So he spoke as he was told. Mm. Ezekiel spoke. Mm. He wasn't humble by closing his mouth. Mm. He spoke. Mm. And he saw results. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hmm. Hopelessness came to an end. Yes. So he spoke. Mm. Hopelessness came to an end. You know, you, you know the case of um, the apostles, Paul, mm. Acts 27. Yeah, yeah. Acts 27, Acts 27 when, when you know, God said that Paul must be in Rome. Mm. And as Paul was traveling to Rome, this uh, tempest, this wind called Euroclidon came into the scene. Mm. And he began to trouble them on the sea. Mm. The Bible says, it goes to a point whereby all hope that they should be saved yes. was lost. Yes. In fact, the Bible says, that hope was taken away. Mm. Acts 27, verses 20 to 23. It says, all hope that they will be saved was taken away. The Bible now says that Paul, he stood in their midst. Mm. And he said, overnight, mm. the angel of God, mm. who I am, and who I serve, whom I am, and, and who I serve, he mm. stood by me last mm. night and said, mm. Paul, you must surely be in Rome. Mm. Because 
God has given to your hands mm. those who are traveling with you mm. and that there shall be no loss of life. Mm. There shall be no loss of life. That is for somebody. Yeah. They have said all hope to keep you alive is taken away. All, all hope of fulfilling your purpose, uh, hey. fulfilling your ministry is taken has, away. It's gone. Been taken away. Mm. Oh, look, you know, you are, you know, you are, you are too old. Mm. People of your age, you know, don't do this. Mm. You know, go and sit down. Go and sit down. You know, you have been doing this twenty years ago, not mm. now. Mm. And they said there's no hope. Mm. I have a good news for you. Mm. The God who has asked us to start this program mm. is saying that there is hope. Oh yes. He's saying that he says he says I will restore to you that the years that the cacao has eaten. Amen. I will restore to you the years you have lost. Amen. Many believers, you know, they blame them. Say, ah, I didn't know that I would have been born again maybe uh, forty years ago, mm. and they begin to regret. Ah, uh, who knows? You know what? I, what I should have? What I would have achieved if I had been born again for the, for the past thirty years? Mm. No, you got born again this year. Do you know that you can achieve some? You know things. For the Lord within a year, yes. Than what, what than what you should have achieved maybe thirty years earlier. Mm. Within a year, God can use you to achieve something for God within one year. Yes, yes. So there is hope for you. Oh yes. So <laughs> hopelessness came to an end. Oh yes. Paul said there shall be no loss because God said there is hope. The Bible now says that He said, "I believe that it would be as." I was told. Yes. That's 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 a point there. Yes. And I also want to bring something <laughs> out there. Okay. That why didn't he speak to Euroclidon? Mm. The the okay. And say peace be still, Euroclidon. Yes. That mm. since we are supposed to speak. Mm. Why didn't he speak? We know that um, Paul he had authority, he knew how to use the authority. authority. Oh yes. So why didn't he use that then? Mm. <laughs> Well, he w- I don't believe that he was given directives to speak to that. Yes. Because what God wanted to do through that Euroclidon would mm. not have been done. Mm. So he was not supposed to speak to it. If mm. he had spoken to that Euroclidon, I'm sure it wouldn't have moved. Because <laughs> that wasn't what he mm. was supposed to do. Mm. So it's as we hear. That we that we Because decree. God, because um, the Bible says, or we are saying, that we must speak. speak. So that means every time we must just speak, 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 speak. Mm. Speak, speak at, according to what you hear. Mm. Mm. I'm sure Paul here wasn't given any directive to speak to that. It like like yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he didn't speak. Because God knows the way that he wants to take. Oh yes. Concerning any particular challenge that mm. you might find yourself in. Mm. There are some cases you have to speak. Oh yes. And there are some cases you don't speak. Mm. You speak as you hear. Mm. And when he tells you to hear, there is a time for silence and there is a time to speak. Mm. So we need to know that. Mm. We don't just go nilly-willy into something and say, yes, we are supposed to speak. So everything that we see, we must speak. That's why there is um, a hit and miss oh, yes. kind oh, yes. of issue happening. Mm. Mm. But when we hear and God says, speak like this, and you speak, you'll see things happening. Mm, mm. Do you know that, uh, you know, to, to buttress what you are saying, as if he had spoken and said, you look like, don't stop. Uh, stop, uh, peace, because, because your guys spoke against the wind. Yes. So let me, uh, let me also that copy one. that. Yes. It's possible they wouldn't have gotten to a place called matter. You know? The wind won't even obey because they know, they will look at, what spirit that that person is using to speak okay. that command? Okay. Because if we remember the time of um, Skiva, okay. the sons of Skiva, the demons knew by what authority uh-huh. okay. those sons of Skiva they were talking. That's okay. why they beat them. They did all that they mm, did to mm, them. Mm, that's Acts nineteen. Because Acts they 19. will note it. They will mm. say, "Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Mm. Who is behind this instruction? Who is behind this instruction before they obey? But if mm. they see that." You are not speaking by the instruction of God. They can challenge it and mm. they won't do what we mm. want them to do. Mm. But if you are talking according to the authority, you are under Christ. We are all under Christ. We are under his authority. When we speak according to what he tells us to speak, under mm. his authority, mm. things have to move because oh, they yes. can see, okay, this person is speaking by the Spirit. Mm. 
mm. or God. So mm. we have to but bow. Okay, okay. In fact, you know what I'm trying to say is that you know Malta had you know that particular um, that that wind had its way. Mm. Assuming the wind has not had its way, mm. it's possible the people on the island uh, of uh, Melitas or Malta. Yeah. It's possible. In the, you know, they, they wouldn't have had the gospel of Christ. But because there was a wind mm. and there was an accident upon upon the sea, mm. that was why they found themselves in the island of Malta. And through that, gospel was preached to people of Malta. And when they left Malta, they went towards Rome. Mm. So it's good to hear what, what God is saying. The question is, how do I hear what to do? Yes, we have videos on that. <laughs> how do I hear what to do? When I face a challenge, mm. you know, how do I hear from God? Mm. We have videos on that. Please look through our videos, and you know, we have about you know, say about seven or ten hours video on how to hear from God. Mm. You know, so look at our videos. Uh, but I just keep this one in. You know, God can just give you a scripture mm. that look, Jesus Christ spoke to mm -hmm. the wind. A scripture you can come to mind. Yes. I was okay. Oh, so, uh, so which means I have to speak here. And and if you don't remember the case of Paul, <laughs> Paul didn't speak. Mm, concerning concerning the, you know the 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 wind yes. the, the wind then you know okay this time around i won't speak let god have his way yes i know he has a plan although there was an accident but mm. that, that, that accident was turned to god's glory yes all things work together for good for our mm. support so once you know which one to do mm. and you can know it because mm. god will show you what to do oh, yes. but don't give it a flat rate mm. That yes. anything that comes to me, I, I must, must I must be speaking. <laughs> That's I must it. be speaking. So it thanks, happens. thanks for bringing that one in, sweetheart. Uh, I must be speaking. Uh, every time I speak, uh, you now sometimes uh, that thing will have uh, its cause. Just like um, the the woman, the damsel was that uh, that was um, possessed. Okay. That's Acts 16, right? Yes. 16, that okay. they were that was following Paul around. Okay. With. The master saying these these men are from the from God. They have come to preach unto us the way of salvation and oh, yes. kept on like that. We don't see Paul act immediately until after some time. Then he became grieved. Grieved. Mm. That's the grieving of the spirit that was grieving him. Also, if mm. we want to talk, we want to say it like mm. that. The Holy Ghost was grieved. So that's why he, too, he could recognize that he was grieved, and that's when he took action and cast out the demon. From mm. that damn cell, and got into trouble as a result <laughs> of that. Oh yeah. What about the? Is it the sorcerer now? Okay. That he spoke that he would be blind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he knew his yeah. authority By and he Jesus. knew when to use By it. By Jesus, that's I, I think that's Acts thirteen. Acts thirteen. So By he Jesus. knew yeah. when to use his authority, mm. and he knew when not to use the mm. authority. When to talk and when not to talk, he mm. knew. Mm. 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 So, speak as you are led by the Spirit of God. Yes. Know yes. how God leads you, mm. and speak as you are led. And mm. if He says keep quiet, you know, let me, you know, let me, let me, let me help you out. Mm. Then keep quiet. Let mm. Him help you out. Mm. You will see the result as mm. time goes on. That okay, God has a purpose behind this particular problem. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Mm. So mm. we are, we have been speaking about challenges mm. of purpose, mm. looking at David as. A case studies. Mm. Thank you, uh, Sister Diana, for for I mean for joining us. Thank you, uh, Brother Gugmuyeye, very celebrity for joining us, mm -hmm. and others will be joining us later. Mm. God bless you, real good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Wow. Okay. Then we can also see that David he also spoke when it came to him being in front of the king, because he was already saying that who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Okay. What right does he have here to come and be challenging us? Mm. That they now brought him to the king. Let's look at that. Yeah. I want us to... Uh, to 1 Samuel 17, um, right? 1 Samuel, 1 17. Samuel 17. Very, very important. In fact, mm. we should not miss this. So important. 1 Samuel 17. Mm. That's our text. Verse 34. Yeah. Okay. I can read from here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, from thirty-three. Okay. Yeah, and so said, <laughs> I can read. And so said to David, "You are not able <laughs> to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for you are but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth." And David said unto Saul, "Your servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock, and I went out after him and struck him." 
and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and slew him. 36. Hmm. 36. Your servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he has defiled the armies of the living God. Hmm. Hmm. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with you. So here we are able to see that David had to speak concerning his achievements, what he had achieved so far hmm. in the front of the king. Or else maybe he won't have even given him any audience at all. Hmm. That's something that we can see. He spoke concerning his achievements. Hmm. Many of us, we like to shy away from the achievements. Hmm. Meanwhile, we are supposed to speak of those achievements when it is necessary, mm. when it's important, so that some people can get what they are supposed to get at that particular time. Mm. If David hadn't spoken to the king and told him and given him his testimony mm. of his achievements, maybe the king would have said that he should just go and sit down. Or bond, go back bond, bond, bond him. Uh, bond go, him out of here. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no playground. Yes. <laughs> mm. Mm. So he had to speak about his purposes, That's to speak about what he has achieved. Mm. That's why the king was able to tell him, okay, go, mm. Mm. and the Lord be with you. Oh, yes. So that's something that we can also note here. And when he spoke then, he wasn't speaking in order for people to come and worship him. No. Mm. He wasn't speaking to be idolized. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's something to be to note also. Oh yes. That when you speak of achievements, it doesn't mean that you are, you want to take on the the glory. The glo or you want to be somebody that is better than everybody else or mm. superior to everybody else. Mm. You are speaking it so that people can be blessed. Oh yes. And you are still pointing people to God. That God has done this and done this through me and he can still do the same for you today. And it can also do the same thing through you. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. That if God can use me to heal the sick, mm. it can also use you to heal the sick. Mm. If God has used me to raise the dead, well, you are, if you are tired of God, he can also use you to raise the dead. If God can use me to give you a word of prophecy that is very mm. precise, he can also use you to prophesy precisely. Mm. You know, I am a man of like passion. Mm. I seek God to use the rest too. <laughs> mm. I'm a human being like yourself. I sleep. I, I still sleep. Sometimes fear comes to, to my mind. Mm. Sometimes I feel I feel afraid. Mm. But thank God I switch into what God's promise and you know I get my boldness. So when you are telling people about your achievements, it's not because you want them to be worshiping mm. you as you have said, mm. but to glorify God and to show them that they too can be used by God to achieve the same thing. Because God is not. In, in our time, it's not willing to, to just raise a one one man champion, one man champion. Mm. Some the only one person that God is using in the whole of uh, the whole of UK, only one person being used by God. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> in the whole of America, only one only one person is being used by God. In the whole of Africa, only one person is being used by God is in the business of raising so many sons and daughters. Yes. People that he wants to use mm. these end times. Oh yes. People that he wants to use to to, to shake nations for oh, God. Oh yes. The mover and sh yes. movers and shakers. Yeah. In their offices, they'll be doing exploits. Oh, yes. <laughs> in, their, in their career, they'll be doing exploits. Mm. Uh, people who are into uh, uh, acting, sports, men, they'll be doing exploits in their mm. career. God is mm. raising up people like that. Mm. So, so when you share what God has done through your hands, is to encourage others mm. to step out mm. and do the same. Mm. Mm. And interestingly, you know, when many of us are doing the same thing at the same time, and at the same time, it makes the work easier. Yes. The work becomes very easy. For, for, for example, you, you cannot be at two places at the same time. Yeah. Except, you know, except you are transported by the, you know, by the Lord. <laughs> but, you know, for example, uh, mm -hmm. uh, about two weeks ago, you know, I was in the States. You know, I came in, I, I came in from the States um, last week, by God's grace. You know, now I'm in England. I can't be in the States and in England at the same time. Mm. But people... You know, who have learned from the Lord, 
and they are in the states they can go and apply what they have learned mm. and people who are learning from the lord here in england they can also go and, and apply what they have learned mm. so you know the work becomes easier mm. and the work spreads out quickly mm. because all of us can do exploits for god yes mm. yes and we know that there were other disciples also that did exploits and it wasn't that they wanted people to worship them okay acts Acts 3, 12 to 16 talks about the man at the beautiful gate, Peter and John, that went there. We all know that story, I'm mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. Are think, we reading yes, it? Yes, I think it's good with that story because it's so important. When <laughs> when Peter and John at the, beauty, at the beautiful gate, somebody was born lame mm-hmm. from his mother's womb, was healed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and come and see how the people responded. Mm-hmm. Acts 3, 12 to 16, and see the response of Peter and John. To the response of the people. Mm. Acts 3, verses 12 to 16. Okay. Let me read from here. Okay, from verse 11. And as the lame man who was healed held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, verse 12, and when Peter saw it, let's take note, he answered unto the people, You men of Israel, why marvel you at this? That is, at this means, mm. at what has happened. This miracle. Mm. Or why look you so earnestly on us as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? Mm. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, mm. the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. Then uh, I think is it is it 16. As, okay, verse sixteen now, and his name, hmm, his name that's the name of Jesus. True faith in his name that's the name of Jesus, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him, has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. This miracle happened. Hmm. But they had to deflect what the people were starting to wonder about and saying mm. that these people, they must be gods. Mm. They are wondering, special. they are looking at their, that they must be special. Mm. So he had to immediately tell them there and then that it is not because of our holiness mm. and it's not because of, we, our uh, uh, of our power that that's why this man, this miracle has happened to this person. Mm. But the name, the faith in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Faith in that name. At the name of Jesus, every, every knee name. must bow. Every name of must things bow. in heaven, things also. in earth and under also. the earth. Mm. He has been given a name and we are supposed to use that name. Mm. So that name made this man stand. It was faith in that name. They used that name. Mm. To make this man to stand. Mm. And even that person also, there is a place also that talks that even he himself. Okay. Is this is this for? Okay, that's a different one. I okay, think. yeah. Yeah. Okay. But here we are able to see that it was faith in the name. They had to deflect it so that people will not start viewing them as... <laughs> Superstar, uh-huh. powerful man of God. And then they start glory in him. Yes, that is yes. not them. That is not holy, their own holiness. Holy preachers. <laughs> yes, because I'm holy. That's why uh, this miracle happened. Yes, yes, or yes. By my own special power, mm-hmm. that it was the name of Jesus mm, that mm, healed mm, mm. this because, man. Because because I am specially anointed than you, yes. than you all. Yes. That is why that is why this thing is happening mm. in this particular as- assembly. Mm-hmm. No. Peter will not do that. The name. It is the name of Jesus. And they emphasized on that name. They mm. kept on repeating that name. That, that name. name. Faith in that name. Faith in that name. Which is by him also. That faith also is something that we have inherited. Mm-hmm. So faith by him. Mm. We have inherited faith in Christ. We have it's inherited there. that faith. Mm. Even the fruit of the Spirit tells us that faith is there. Yeah. And it so gives you, faith. yeah, as a gift, as a as fruit, a, as a fruit, as a gift. Mm. So here we are able to see that it was faith in that name. Mm. So they used that name. That name was greater than silver and gold. Mm. Mm. And it was more than money. And interestingly, 
that name can be used by anybody yes on the planet and the name works with i mean with anyone who knows how to operate the name yes that is why even those who took the name for granted yes those who are practicing sin 24 mm. 7 mm. they use that name and the name worked for them yes jesus christ said uh, on the last day they would, they would come and tell him that uh, mm. we have done this in your name yes we are prophesied in your name miracles. miracles in your name he said i would i would say i know you not mm. ye workers of iniquity depart from me because they knew they knew how powerful the name is. Mm. It's a pity even believers who are born again, mm. who are spirit filled, they don't even know the power behind the name. Mm. We are very shy when it comes to using that name. Mm. That name is so powerful. It doesn't matter how mm. holy your ac- activity, mm. your action is, or, or, how, mm. or how unholy your, mm. your activities are. You know, I'm not saying we should be condoning sin, mm. but even those who are li- those who we are living or those who are living in sin, mm. they use the name and the name works for them. How much more if you are a believer in Christ, you are a child of the Most High God, mm. you know, you are born again, spirit filled, mm. that name can work in your mouth. Mm. Uh, is, it, is it Mark 10? Mm. The disciples said they saw one man mm. who didn't belong to their. Um. <laughs> 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 they saw a particular man mm. you know, who was not in the camp of the, mm. of disciples. the disciples. Mm. And, and this man, mm. <laughs> this man was using the name of Jesus Christ mm. to cast out devils. Mm. And we stopped him. Yes, ah, we forbid him. We forbid him. Jesus Christ said, no. <laughs> Anyone who is using who is doing miracle in my name mm. is not against me. Mm. Allow him. Mm. So, you know, the disciples, they were so they were so babies and ignorant. Mm. That whether you belong to their caucus or not, mm. that name works. Mm. That's why it's a pity. So many denominations, mm. they would think that you know, except you are except you are, except, you are, except that you are you are their members. God can't use you. Mm. Except you belong to a denomination. You know that name cannot work for you. Those are errors. Whether you belong to a, a, you know to their group or not, as long as you know that name, if you are born again, spirit filled, that name will work for you. Because mm. if you are using that name and you are in Christ, mm. you will do exploits on that. You will make heaven. Oh yes. The pity part is that some are using that name and they are not in Christ. Mm. So that's why on the last day, Christ will say, "Depart from me. I know you not. You workers of uh, iniquity." But mm. our own case is not so. If you are born again, mm. you are not a work of iniquity. Mm, but some people are even okay. are born again Christians. Okay, okay. They are also doing that. Mm, okay, that's true. They use that name, but they and they don't care. They don't care, mm-hmm. but but that is dangerous because yeah, that's very dangerous. Because you know what's the use of using the name and doing exploits? Yeah, and being no, being all over the world and miss heaven because heaven is the heaven is our heaven is our ultimate goal. Mm. One day. Whether we like it or not, and some will say, "Well, I prophesy uh, by this time next year you'll be alive." A year is coming when they will say that thing. Mm. The person who is talking to will, will, will be alive. That's mm. the truth. Mm. It's not a. It's not. It's not what we are trying to. We are, you know, I don't try to preach depression here, but the point is, one day you and I will pass away to glory. The the prayer is that we should live long, but whether we like it or not, if Christ studies, we are going to leave this world because this world is not our home. Mm. Bible says, "For here we have no continuing city." Mm. So somebody who is messing around with his life and using the name of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ and making fame, making money, mm-hmm. one day those things he will leave behind. Mm-hmm. That he will go into eternity, mm-hmm. where you either you either go to heaven mm-hmm. or go to hell. May you not be, may you and I not be a particle of hell in Jesus' name. Amen. So the name of Jesus Christ works despite holiness, despite power. Mm-hmm. Turn yeah, people. It's the name. Yeah, this is the, the name. name. Is the name. The emphasis was on the name. The, the name emphasis was not on holiness and it was not on power. Oh, yes. That they had, mm. but on the name of Jesus. That's true. We also see that even during the time of Paul and Barnabas, also at Lysra, mm-hmm. that's um, Acts 14 17 to 18. Mm. That they too, they wanted to make them gods, they wanted to do some sacrifice unto them. Oh, yes. That they are gods. They mm. call them Mercuries, uh, Mercurus, or what's it? Jupiter, now? yeah. Jupiter and mm-hmm. the Mercury or yeah, Mercurius. Yeah. Mercurius, yeah. Jupiter and yes. Mercurius. That's Paul, Mercurius, yes. and the Barnabas, Jupiter. Yes. <laughs> and then the priest of Jupiter wanted to come and do a sacrifice unto them, making mm. them gods. But according to that story, we are told that they ran in. Mm. among them, they strip themselves of their clothes and yeah. said, we are people. Mm. We are oh. men li- of like passion. Yeah, like why you. Are you. Why are you doing this? Mm. Mm. 
Uh, you know, it was because um, somebody who was born who was born lame, mm. you know, yes. at least try. Yeah, this you right. know. And as Paul was preaching, mm. Bible says Paul perceived that that particular man, mm. that man mm. has the faith to, to be healed. Yes. yes. He now said, "Rise up and be healed," and yes. instantly he was healed. Mm. They said, "Wow, this is a miracle." Mm. Yeah, this is this a miracle. This is something. Mm. You are watching this video and you are and you are having a health problem. Mm. Arise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Maybe you are watching this particular video and you are on the wheelchair. Mm. The power of God is touching you. Amen. Arise and be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. So when they saw the healing power of God manifested, mm. wow, they saw this, this, this. I mean, these people are different. Mm. You know, they now try to idolize them. Mm. So that they can be worshipped. And they refused. And Paul and Barnabas refused. Yes. They said, please don't worship us. Yes. Don't worship us. Yes. Don't make us an idol. Mm. We are men of like passion. We are, we are human beings like you. Like you. Like you. What God has done to us, it can do to your hands too. Mm. If you know the true God, yeah. that's a lesson for us to learn mm. from. And yeah. it was a, a very big miracle because verse 8 of the... Acts 14 verse 8 tells us, And there sat a certain man at Lysra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who hmm. never had that walked. walked. Hmm. So this problem had happened right from when he was in his mother's womb. womb. That's a word for someone. Somebody has made you impotent. It's not that you cannot walk physically, but yes. spiritually. Mm. somebody made you impotent, made you lame in your mother's womb. The good mm. news is that healing, lameness is a thing of the past. You can walk in you the name stand, of Jesus. You can fulfill your purpose in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. and amen and amen. Amen. All shackles are broken in the All name of Jesus. All spiritual shackles are broken in the, in the name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus. Amen, amen. Stand up and walk. Mm. Stand up and do what God has called oh, you to yes. do. Oh yes, oh yes, oh mm. yes. What you couldn't do hmm. before now, begin to yes. do it. Uh, the money you have not counted before now, begin to count it. Yes. Uh, the opportunities that, that, that you have not gotten before now, begin to get those opportunities. Amen. Let those open for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let people remember you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Mm. Then even Paul had to speak also. He didn't keep quiet. <laughs> because yeah. he wasn't one of the disciples. He wasn't with Jesus initially. Yeah. Um, yeah. initially or he wasn't trained under... Jesus says tutelage. Oh, so yes. he too he had to speak, and because of what he spoke, do are we reading that or people should yeah, maybe just yeah. speak briefly on that? Okay. So that we yeah. Can. Yeah. Acts fifteen one to four, Acts fourteen eight to nineteen, mm. Galatians two one to nine. Mm. When Apostle Paul and Barnabas when they went uh, to the Gentiles, God did miracles in their lives. One of them was the one we read concerning uh, the man at Lystra. Mm. So that's Acts fourteen. Mm. Now. You know, they got to Antioch and the two disciples what God did in at Lystra. Mm. Now when they leave, when they left Antioch, they now went to Jerusalem mm. to go and speak to the apostles. Mm. You know, and they told them what God did through their hands. And the apostles they were so impressed that ah, you mean God God used the Paul and Barnabas to affect the Gentiles. And they were so they were so happy because they had, you know, Paul and Barnabas told to them the testimonies mm. of what God did through their hands. And in Galatians 2, 1 to 9, Bible says, when they got to Jerusalem 14 years later, Bible says that they went there and they conversed with the apostles. Mm. They told them what that God has done through their hands mm. you know, among the Gentiles. Mm. So the disciples now saw that, look, uh -uh, God used Peter amongst the Jews. Mm. The testimony that, that, um, that Peter had among the Jews is similar to what Paul and Barnabas had amongst the Gentiles. Yes. Bible now says because they perceive God's grace mm. upon the life of Paul mm. and Barnabas, they now gave them the right hand of fellowship. That that they will go they will go to the mm. Jews, but let them go to the Gentiles. Yes. Only that they should remember the poor yes. in Jerusalem. Mm. That is Galatians two one to nine. Mm. I've quoted Acts fifteen one to four. Mm. Acts, for, Acts 14, 8 to 19, and also Galatians mm. 2, 1 to 9. So, Apostle Paul and Barnabas, they shared testimonies. Mm. 
if they have not shared testimony except except disciples, you know, we we'll see by revelation. <laughs> Except, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, to say, you are telling God, God, uh, God, God, them God show them what what, have achieved, what God has achieved, what I have achieved through my hand. God show them, <laughs> but they share the testimony, uh, and then um, with and that, could compare you know, and say, okay. okay, and even told them who to go to. Okay, mm. go and focus on the mm. Gentiles because mm. from mm. what you have shared with us, mm. from from how God has used you, mm. then it means uh, God is saying you should mm. go and. You know, speak to the Gentiles. Mm-hmm. Although God said, you know, they should go. To, all of them should go to, go to go all over the world. But for some reasons, Peter stood with the with the Jews, mm-hmm. the circumcisions. Mm-hmm. So, uh, sharing testimonies, they spoke. They didn't keep quiet. Mm-hmm. Concerning what God has done. Mm-hmm. If you share what God is doing through your hands, somebody will be there and say, "Okay, ah, you mean God can use somebody like that?" Yes. Ah, it means I too, I too can be blessed mm-hmm. through that ministry, through that, through mm-hmm. that man's ministry. Mm-hmm. Or if God, if God has used that particular person. God can also use me. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. And how did they do it? I will share with them testimonies mm. of you know what you went through, your experience, and the results. And mm. people just okay, wow. You mean I too can try it? Mm. And they they was, they will go and try it. And when they see results, mm. they be so happy. Mm. What came to my mind was you know when I was in the, you know I, I, I traveled to the Middle East. They been like, uh, yeah, I, I know that. You know I traveled to the Middle East, and the sister was in the in the church program. Uh, this sister. I think she was born again maybe three months, you know. She was attending Catholic Church. Mm-hmm. And three months later, she came for this program. Mm-hmm. And I was sharing with her. I said, the Bible says, these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm-hmm. In my name, they shall cast out devils. Mm-hmm. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and the sick shall recover. Mm-hmm. That, that, word means, that word means, anyone who believes, whether you are one month old in the Lord, mm-hmm. whether you are a female, whether you are a male, whether you are three years old in the Lord, mm-hmm. if you believe, mm-hmm. Lay your, lay your, go and lay your hands upon the sick, and the sick will recover. Mm. Guess what? This young convert, mm. she left the church auditorium. She went to meet one of her neighbors. neighbors. And she said, Pastor Sam said last night mm. that uh, if you're a believer, mm. you can use the name of Jesus Christ to heal the sick. Yes. Uh, my neighbor, I know you have this back problem. Mm. Said, can, I, can, I pray, can I pray with you? Mm. And guess what? She laid her, she laid her hands upon her back. Mm. And on the spot, the person was healed. Yes. So she came to the church the second the second mm-hmm. night, and she testified. Say, well, mm-hmm. praise God! Last night I had this message. I went to my neighbor. Mm-hmm. I just said, well, according to Pastor Sam's, maybe well, it's not my word; it's the word of the Lord. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's according to Pastor Sam's teaching. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, I, I, you know, I, I can pray all this and, and, it's, and it's can be what I just need to, is to believe, mm-hmm. and I, I I applied it, and mm-hmm. the person gets healed. Mm-hmm. I was I was so happy that ah, somebody got the message that. Mm. Doesn't matter how it doesn't matter how old you are in the Lord mm. or how young you are in the Lord, mm. just believe in that mm. name. Use that name and mm. see what happens. Mm. The point is, what of if I use the name and it doesn't happen? Use the name again. Mm. Keep on keep on using the name until it happens. And once it happens once, mm. it will keep on happening because mm. you have you have broken that barrier mm. of maybe of, maybe of unbelief. So God is willing to use it. So so what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that shared testimonies, testimonies shared, help the hearers. Yeah. And even the person sharing the testimony to the more you share, the more God gives to you, yeah. because you are giving out good information that will help people to do experts for God and to help humanity. Hallelujah. Amen. So the person that has back pain. Ah, uh, yeah, pain. yeah. The person that had back pain got healed on the spot. So whoever has back pain. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's the word of knowledge for somebody. Mm. You are having back pain. Check your back. The pain has disappeared in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, all these things I have given uh, you know this broadcast, please, as you as you receive testimonies, try and inbox us, please. Inbox mm-hmm. us so that we can we can post, I mean document it and, and and be encouraged. Although we are always encouraged, we are not discouraged anyway. <laughs> we are not discouraged. But when you share testimony of what God is doing, mm-hmm. it helps us the more to keep on moving, you know, with the Lord, you know, all the mm-hmm. time. So share testimonies, uh, uh, you know, as I've shared that that story. God is saying that he's healing people with back pains. Yes. Spine problem is disappearing. Yes. In fact, the leg. Yeah, okay. The leg too. Okay, the leg too, yeah. You know, you know, even in that trip, in that trip, there was a particular lady that was having a short leg. You know, one leg is not as long as the other. And when I held his two feet, the short leg just came out. And both legs were fixed together, the right length for both legs. So she was healed on the spot. You are there, 
and one leg is, is not as long as the other, or one hand is not as long as the other, just stretch forth your hands and see the power of God touching that hands. Yes, there is someone, the left leg. Okay. The left leg. Okay. God is working on it to okay. be equal with the right leg Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For with God, all things are possible. possible. Please share your testimonies with us. Inbox us. Mm. Inbox me or inbox my wife. Mm. And let's hear you know, what God is doing concerning your health. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Then we are also look, we are still looking at David. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are still looking at David and challenges he had in fulfilling his purpose. Oh, yes. Here again, we can see that the king said he could not face Goliath. Mm, you are not um, able. Yes, mm. that is not able. You are not able. 33. Okay. First Samuel 17, 33 says, And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. <laughs> a mm. whole king, mm. a man of status, of mm. stature. Oh, yes. A king spoke to the life of David that he is not able. Wow. That he is not able. Be why? Because he, he didn't have the experience that Goliath had. Mm -hmm. mm. That they knew that Goliath had experience. He had mm. training. Mm -hmm. So he said he could not go up against him. Mm. Goliath had man-made qualifications. Oh, yes. And so the king said that David could not go up against him because he is the one that had experience mm. and that from his youth he has been training. Mm. He's a champion. Mm. But David is but a youth. Mm. So even in fulfilling purpose. In life, yes. In life. People can speak, even men or men that reputable men can even say that you are not able. Hmm. They know your purpose or they don't know your purpose. You are not able. Why? Because you do not have the man-made qualifications mm -hmm. Hmm. that they have. You hmm. did not go to a, that, that a particular school mm. you did not have the man-made training oh yes so you are not able to do those things that you are saying that you want to do mm. here I even said that he's even attacked his age too <laughs> that you are bought you are bought I mean you are bought youth mm. that's something that we should learn from that you might be saying that you are too young or even too old or too old at your age <laughs> or you lack the man-made experience, the, mm. the, the man-made experience or training or the school that is recognized. Mm. But David here, he said that I have training and he had to tender his own training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That my own training was not of man. Mm. That while I was in the field, mm. I slew a lion and a bear. And a bear. Mm. So he had the training of sl <laughs> he had the training of having to kill a lion and a bear that oh, yes. nobody had mm. in secret. Mm. Mm. So so he had he had a secret school. Yes. <laughs> nobody um, nobody knew mm, at all. Mm. But but God was training him yes. in the secret place. Yes. Yes. You know, unofficial training. Yes. Unconventional. Unconventional training. God was training him in the secret place. He was being trained where King Saul, you know, it was, was you know. He was being trained in a place where other armies of Israel, you know, uh, was trained. He was trained in a secret place with different mm. training materials. Yes, yes. <laughs> the training materials was a bear and a lion. And a lion. And so it wasn't the conventional one. Oh, yes. So in order to fulfill purpose, it's not always that you have to go to a man-made school or training. Mm. God can keep you in a particular place and train you for your purpose. Don't look down on yourself and say, oh, because I don't have a PhD in this, because I don't have these qualifications, I didn't go to Bible school, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. 
So why would I be mm. qualified to fulfill my purpose here? Mm. In mm. some cases, God himself is the one that hides a person and trains him himself. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Formal training is good. Mm. Yes. But formal training should not replace God's training. God's training. People today, when you say, well, God is the one who has trained you, they, 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 they begin to ask you, you know, where, you know, where, are, your, you know, where are your qualifications? Mm. If you don't put a, a M field, PhD, DDD, behind mm. your, your name. Mm. You are not respected. Mm. And meanwhile, God himself has trained you himself. Mm. But the beauty is that the result will explain yes. whether you have been yes. trained by God or yes. not. Yes. It's, 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 it's amazing. Yes. So one should not allow, you know, people, to, I'm talking you down to mm. hinder you. Yes. The king said, you are not able. Many people today, they, they excuse what someone has said, you know, into their lives for their failures. Mm. If not because of... Um, what my mother told me, you know, when I was three years old. <laughs> if not what uh, my daddy told me when I was growing up. Mm. Uh, it, it was my mother's rival that spoke to my life. That's why I, I am like this. Mm. Arise and shine. Mm. Arise and shine. Mm. The king said, David, you cannot make it. You can't do it. Mm. And there's power, there is power in, in a word. Yes. There is power in a word. We know we, we don't dispute that. Mm. But if somebody comes and speaks negative things to you, mm. especially as a child of God, it is your it is your right to say no. That's not that's not my portion. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I reject it. I can do all things through Christ mm. who strengthens me. Yes. Every negative thing has been spoken to my life. Either even either by, either by my pastor. Mm. Some pastors, God have mercy, mm. they have spoken negative things to 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 members' lives. Mm. I cancel that over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And you too, you have the right to cancel it because yes. cause costless cannot stand. Oh, yes. Cancel it. Mm. Whoever has spoken against your life, either as a pastor or a mm. minister, yeah. you okay. have the right of authority. Or authority. Cancel it. Mm. And say, no, as that pastor is a child of God, you too are a child of God. Yes. The Bible says we are heirs of God and we are joined heirs together with, in, in, with Christ. Yes. So, if the pastor above you is a child of God, you too, you are a child of God. Though, thank God, maybe, I mean, thank God he has authority. But some pastors, they misuse the authority. Mm -hmm. And you have the right to say no to whatever has been said that is contrary mm -hmm. to your destiny. Mm -hmm. You are able. I am able. Mm -hmm. Through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. You are able. Yes. Tell yourself, you are able. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am able. I am able. <laughs> we are able yeah. in Christ. Mm -hmm. We are able. So wow. there are examples of people of things that people will say mm. that put that puts people in the not able category. Okay. Like you are a child. Mm. You are too old. You are too you are too young. Mm. You don't have experience. Mm. You don't do this. You don't have that. You are, you belong to a particular race. You are a foreigner. Mm. Or you are this. You are that. There are so many things of people saying. You are not able. But you are, we are a woman. Ones, yes, you are, you you are, are a woman. woman. You are a woman. You can't say anything. Women can't be talking like that. Yes. Mm, you are a woman. Know your place. Know your place. <laughs> uh, look at your accent. Mm. You are not eloquent enough. Mm. Look at you. Mm. Don't you, you are not you? an orator. <laughs> Don't look at that. Mm. You step out mm. and begin to do what God says you should mm. do. Mm. If you are amazed, God mm. will surprise you. The mm. Nehemiah one. Mm. Jeremiah said, God said, said, said Jeremiah, don't mm. say that I am a child. Yes. Stop saying that you are a woman. Mm. Some will say, look, I'm poor. Mm. Stop saying that you are poor. Bible says, mm. let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor yeah. say. Yeah. Let the poor say, I'm rich. If God gives you a project, the first thing to, to do is to say, yes, Lord. Yes. When you say yes to a project, you know, God's purpose, mm. he will not begin to give you ideas. Yes. On how money will come in. Yes. He will start giving you ideas of what to do. Yes. Just you just say yes first, yes, Lord. When mm. you say yes, Lord, mm. ideas will come and start working. Yeah, working in that. Yeah, in, in some cases, you might not even need money. What okay. you just need is to prepare. God is preparing you. Sit down and you and you prepare yourself mm. Mm. through mm. God's help. Mm. Mm. He will train you, as we said earlier. Well, we're talking about Jesus Christ, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. John 7, John unconventional 7, teaching. He John didn't 7. go to any school. Mm. And yet they were saying, mm. what were they saying? They were saying, and how come he has this wisdom? Having never learned, that's John 7, yes. 15 to 16. They, yes. said, they said, Jesus Christ had this wisdom. Yes. And he has not learned. Yes. 
So, which means he has not learned the conventional... The conventional way. <laughs> way, yeah. But you know, Christ said that all that he, he has been teaching is true revelation, is, is from the Father. So, the yes. Father was the one teaching him. Yes. Paul too. Yeah, Paul, yeah. Yes, he too. He didn't go through the conventional way of um, Jesus teaching him. Mm, Galatians or, 1, yeah. Or the apostles, mm. Peter and John, all of them now teaching him. Hmm. Immediately he had the revelation of Jesus Christ. We are told that he moved. He mm. went to is it Arabia? Yeah, now? for three years. Yeah. He went there. He did a lot of he was there being taught of the Holy Ghost. Mm. And then he now came out later mm. Mm. to see mm. the apostles. Mm. 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 So you might say that your training is unconventional, that I don't have any degree, or somebody has not anointed me, mm. or something, something, one excuse or the other. I've not been ordained. I've not been ordained. I've not mm. done this. I've not done that. But even Jeremiah, we are told that he said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, mm. I have known thee. I've ordained you. So God ordains, even before you come into the world, you are ordained to do something. Mm, mm. As is to find out what we are ordained to do and mm. to follow that. Mm. Whether you are ordained to be an engineer, to be an engineer, mm. an extraordinary engineer. Mm. Holy Ghost filled engineer. Yes, <laughs> that will perform feats that people will say, ah, no, this can only be God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Holy Ghost filled inventor. In, yes. Mm. Auto. Yes. Sportsmen. Holy Ghost filled sportsmen. Yes. Holy Ghost filled actors and actresses. Holy oh. Ghost <laughs> also. Mm. Mm. Holy Ghost filled sculptor, mm. like uh, the mm. case of uh, Bezalel, mm. in one of my favorite uh, mm. uh, Bible characters. Yes. Exodus uh, 31. Mm. Bezalel. The Bible says, God filled him with the spirit of wisdom mm. in all matters of craftsmanship. Mm. And the day I saw that scripture, I said, What? You mean? You mean in God's program, mm. a craftsman had a had a place. He <laughs> was anointed. Was anointed mm. to be a craftsman. Mm. I, I, I was shocked mm. because we just thought that you know I just yes, anointed yeah. our, our people in 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 the pulpit. Yes. Mm. People, pastors, pastors teachers, apostles. Uh, they are the only one. Mm. But even a sculptor, mm. God anointed a sculptor yes. for that work. So, what have you been called to do? You are a com you know you are a comedian. That's what you are called to do. Yes. You are a nurse, and you're like, okay, this, you know, this is what I'm called to do. You, you do it faithfully. Mm. You are an actor, mm. you are an actress, you are a sports person. Mm. Do it faithfully. Mm. And let God have his have his yes. way. Let God be glorified in your life. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Wow. Mm. Okay, mm. I think uh, uh, we have gone so far. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. Galatians, Galatians 1, 11 to 12, you have mm. to say something? Yeah, that let's look at Joseph. Okay. What school did he attend? Mm. School of Commerce. Mm. Mm. Did mm. he attend? MBA. He went through an unconventional training. Mm. Mm. Even David, that we are talking about, he went through an unconventional mm. training. Warfare training. Mm. So there are various people in the Bible. So don't be discouraged and say, I don't, I didn't go, I didn't, I wasn't trained the way. Other people are trained. Hmm. So that means I can't do what God has called me to do. Mm. Mm. That's wrong. We, you you are in good company. Yeah, There are people in the Bible that went through it. The unconventional training. Mm. And mm. they are where they are today. People are celebrating them. Yeah, before we run, yeah, go on. Can even say age also. Okay. That Moses. Mm. At, at 80. <laughs> mm. Mm. Abraham. Mm. At 75, 75, yeah, and so on. Mm. Mm. Jeremiah was very young mm. when he had the call of God. Yes, Samuel was very young. Yes, but the point is, mm. they had they had the call of God at the yes. right time and yes. they obeyed the and Lord. Obeyed. Don't let your age limit you, or your experience. Your experience limits you. You know, do what God says you should do. Start the experience doing something. that you need. God will grant, will give unto you. Oh yes, oh yes, and oh yes. What qualified Joseph? To become the prime minister, mm. the experience he had already had. Mm. Mm. That's true. So, so once you, so, so, but having said that too, yes, yeah, uh, if God is saying go for a training, please go yes, for it. Go for it. You know, Daniel was trained for few for few years in uh, Babylon, you know, 
to learn about the the culture of uh, the uh, the the Babylonian uh, system. You yes. know, it was trained for a few years. So if God says go and be trained in a in a formal education, please mm. go for it. Yes. But don't let that one hinder yeah, you, yeah. or don't let that replace God's call over your life. Mm. They say, okay, you must go to Bible schools, and uh, and God is saying no. Then see that the scriptures, and if you go to the Bible school, and God is saying, okay, that's where you should go to. Go to that Bible, that, that Bible mm. school. But don't replace the Bible school with the Holy Ghost inspiration mm. in your life. Mm. By God's grace, if I went to Bible school, I was taught mm. Pentateuch, uh, I was taught, uh, I was taught church history, I was, I was taught homiletics, I was taught all those things. But thank God, I'm using some part of them. But the point is, when it comes to hearing from God, <laughs> I wasn't taught how to how to hear from God. God Himself taught me how to hear from Him, mm. and and He Himself can also teach you how to hear from Him. Mm. And when you hear from Him, it makes your life better, mm. it makes your life simpler. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we round up, something came to my mind. You know, the Holy Ghost gave me a word. Mm. When we are talking about Goliath standing before, mm. before David, and, and God was saying that deliverance is in the house today. Mm. Amen. Deliverance that is going to us spread deliverance through this broadcast. Amen. Anywhere they watch this program, all over the world, Amen. that people are going to experience a notable deliverance in their lives. Amen. That that Goliath has stood for a long time, for mm. too long time. In fact, Bible says. He defied mm. the God of Israel. Mm. He, he undermined mm. what the God of Israel mm. could do. He reproached, the, God he reproached in, in their lives. the God of Israel in the lives of the soldiers mm. of Israel. Mm. So God said that thing that defied his name mm. amongst his people, he would take up the battle himself. Amen. And you will testify. Amen. I will testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will be, you know, your, your life will glorify God. Amen. Every reproach that people have seen in your life before now, mm. as Goliath's head was cut off and he fell to the ground, those reproach are falling to the ground in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. To rise no more because the head was cut off. Mm. To rise, to no, rise more. no more. To rise no more. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, we thank God. Sister Fidelia, thanks for joining us, mm. Fidelia. God bless you real good. Uh, Diana, we are happy for your, for being part of this program. Mm. And those who will be watching us later, mm. uh, you know, the beauty of such a program like this is, is that, you know, no matter how long it is, mm. you can you can watch it, you know, 30 minutes at a time. Mm. 15, 15, you know, watch it, you know, uh, at your own convenient time. Go over it again mm. and, 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 get, and get your blessings. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yeah. Um, folks. By God's grace, we have this book titled uh, Working with Working with Giants. Working with Giants and today's a uh, virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. So it's and these books are very powerful books. If you want to understand very God very well, that God is 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 a, is a giant of giants mm -hmm. and he has not given back to a dwarf. Mm -hmm. Read this book. It tells you about the speed of a giant. Mm. When God says move, you move. When God says you should stop, you should stop. Mm. That's the book. That's the book we are, we are holding. When he says run, when he says run for your life, <laughs> for your life, you run for your life. <laughs> so hearing God, the giant of giants, mm. and how we are also made we his children, giants. How we have authority of giants. How we have wealth of giants. Mm. That is the book that you need to to get. Inbox us and ask for a copy. Working with giants. Yeah. And today's virtual woman too. Yeah. Make sure you get your own copy. We have only a few left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's unique. Yeah. It's with a difference. That's true. That's true. So I, you, know, you can you can even download um, a copy from Amazon. Yes. Of, of this um, particular book. So please feel free to download a copy and even inbox us to get a hard copy. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Real good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we just pray, please? Holy Ghost, thank you for this particular broadcast. You are the one who has given us this word. Yes. I thank Lord for those who are, who are watching us, those who have watched a few minutes, those who will watch some minutes later, those who will be watching later, and that will be on the future. Holy Ghost, the power that brought down Goliath, let that power manifest in people's lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every reproach in that people are facing Jesus. concerning knowing God, Amen. concerning hearing God, Concerning loving God better, Amen. let those reproach become a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As many as have not received as, as their Lord and Savior, 
touch their hearts, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are watching us and you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ. Do that now. Amen. Give your heart to the Lord and it will save your soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you have Thank done. You, we give you praise. You, Testimonies abound. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And amen. amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Uh, as is the green pastor, thanks for watching. And my sister, Sister Adewusi Adejoke Kujore, thanks for watching. Amen. Have a lovely weekend Amen. and lovely week ahead. Amen. God bless you. Bye. Thank Bye. You. See you. Bye.